what I have here today, Tuesday, September 22nd, 2015, is the fourth attempt to do this video. The first attempt, I forgot to plug in my remote mic. The better for you to hear my burps. Second attempt, the phone rang and I had to answer it. And the third attempt, I left some stuff out. So now we're on the fourth. Take four, as they say. Uh, what do we have here today? On Tuesday, September 22nd, 2015. This is a... Uh, see? This happened to me last time. Let's move that out of the way of the logo. Uh, this is a... What is this? This is a uh, calendar chronograph? Chronograph? Chronograph, I guess you call it. Calendar chronograph? Uh, from Zeno. A Zeno watch. Basil, Basil, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, calendar chronograph. Uh, it's a big boy. What I do with my scale? Uh, let's see if I can get it the easy way. Uh, let's see. It's about. I'd say. Well, it looks like that looks like 42, but it's really 43. I think. Is it 43? Yeah, it's, it's 43 millimeters. Trust me. It's a big. It's a big. And it's thick. I don't know how thick it is. Let me measure it then. I really don't care too much about the thickness. How thick is that? Well, according to this, it looks like it's uh, 13, but uh, the camera is deceiving. Well, that's about right. 13, 14, yeah, whatever. Millimeters. Uh, millimeters. So 43. Uh, it's a it's a hefty mother. It weighs. I mean, it weighs a lot. Uh, I'm sure if you were to chuck this at someone's head, you'd probably kill them. It's so big and heavy. And uh, since it's got the Inca block shock protection on the balance, when you pry it out of their skull, the thing would still probably still be running. So, how do you like that? Uh, I have the band off, in case you're wondering. It did... What does that say? There's the band. It says Xeno Watch, whatever. I took it off because I noticed something and I want to verify that there are uh, two... Uh, Two positions for the spring bar. Uh, let's see, you got an upper one over here, and then you got the one where it is now a lower one. Uh, it's on both sides, on both, I forget what you call those things, call these things, but it's on both of them. So you can move, oh, why they do this, I don't know. But this is the first time I've ever seen this, maybe someone can tell me why they do this. Uh, they don't look like they were put in after market because uh, the, the holes look pretty clean and, and they're in alignment so uh, that's why the band is off anyway yes yeah, calendar chronograph let's look at the dial what did I do with my pointer oh it has the uh, the ETA or Valjo I don't even know how to pronounce that I heard it once on the internet the 775 one that's what we have in this one 775 one movement so let's look at the dial. Okay, you got your standard chronograph stuff. Uh, there's the uh, second hand, the minute counter at the top, at the 12, the hour counter down by the 6, 12 hours, and the, well, this is the running seconds. This is always moving. Uh, that's your standard chronograph stuff. Oh, yeah, with the hand. I don't know if I mentioned the hand. There's the hand. And then you have the calendar edition, which is you have the uh, day over here, the month over here. Oh, you got the moon dial there. You can see the moon with the little stars. And you have a 24 hour, I don't know if they call that the GMT dial, or it's a 24 hour dial tells you AM, PM, I guess in a sense AM and PM. And then you have the date indicator here. The date is along the perimeter. 1 through 31 and it's got the red uh, I don't know crescent moon thing here to let you know what it's pointing to and it uh, it's thin enough and different looking enough that you won't confuse it with the minute hands and the hour hands and even this running seconds the 
Unless the running seconds is right on top of that, then you won't see it probably. Now you see the tail of it, but still. Otherwise, the hands are different enough that you shouldn't confuse them with each other. Uh, let's see. We're just going to turn it over now. And look at the back. And there's the back. Look at that. The Swiss Automatic Chronograph Movement. Sapphire Crystal. All stainless steel. Water resistant. How much water resistant? I do not know. But it's water resistant. Oh yeah, you got the two buttons to uh, start and stop and reset the chronograph and then of course the crown. Uh, there's the uh, Xeno Watch Basil logo on the counterweight. And there's the balance ticking away and there's all this stuff. Okay, let's see, you can see it. We'll show you like this and then we'll rotate it 90 degrees so you can see what's hidden by the rotor. That's the name of it. I forgot it's a new name. And under here, this is all the auto wine junk is here, and there's some springs and stuff. Who knows? Anyway, so that's the uh, the back. It is uh, snap on bezel and back. I know this because I looked at my video on how to open up a pocket watch. Even though uh, very little of it is transferable to wrist watches, there's enough there that you can see. Uh, well, there's no uh, notches here this to unscrew, so, and you know it has to come off. So when you look around the perimeter, over here is a relief to remove the back. And up here, you got this, you can see that. There is a relief to remove the bezel. And another watch I had, a, I took this off, never did a video, but uh, the different watch. And these things are a beast to get off, and they're even worse to put back on so I'm not gonna open this thing up I mean it was just a I couldn't believe to get this thing off so these things are on good and to put it back on huh I had to improvise it was such a pain in the neck uh, oh what am I gonna say oh yeah it's 25 jewels let's see if we can see that will it be kind enough to focus I don't know if you can see there, uh, you know, 25 joules, and they have the word 25 joules, I guess. They use the number and the uh, the text. I think it says Swiss underneath there, too. Yeah, you know, if I put it like this, you won't be able to see it because the rotor goes in the way. So that's why I'm, you have to read it upside down. It's upside down. And then there's a number over here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it uh, right there, like... 10s it looks like and then there's some numbers down in here which I don't think you can see and then over here is the ETA uh, I don't know logo or stamp or whatever and underneath the balance wheel so you can never see it is the, uh, the 7751 is written underneath the balance I don't know why they put it there uh, oh what's this uh, 28 What's that? 28,800 uh, beats per hour, I think it's called. I think that's that eight, 8 per second, maybe. I forget. I used to know. Eh, that another thing really moves. Uh, what else is there? Uh, I think I'm going to go back to the front again. Yes, anyway. Back to the front. Oh. Yes, in the manual. Okay, I'm going to say this because maybe people don't know if they have coronavirus. Manuals in many languages. Uh, during certain times of the day, here it is in English. You cannot set things. Uh, what's that? Moon phase. You can't change it between uh, three and four in the morning. Uh, the day correction. You can't do that between 9:30 and the 12 p.m. It says night. And what's the last one say? A correction. Oh. When you use the chronograph, uh, you can't. You only reset it when the thing is stopped. If you try to reset while the thing is moving, probably something will break. That's a multi-language pamphlet here. So let's see. Uh, we can get the stuff moving. Uh, what do we got now? Oh, we're gonna run the chronograph now. Top button here is to start it. Let's see. Okay, it's got enough power in it still. So there it is. We're going to let it run all the way uh, to one minute.
so you can watch this thing change and plus this thing when they reset this thing this hand whips around like a mad dog violently I'd say so that's why I'm gonna get it close to the you know, over here so it doesn't snap back as violently uh, some people complain when they reset these watches the zero position of this second hand always moves around it's because it's loose because they they really press these suckers on to keep them from uh, because they move so violently when you reset them oh there's the logo Zeno watch because with the airplane thing automatic over here Swiss made at the bottom uh, one thing about this dial is uh, well I'm gonna stop this and then I'll say what about the dial uh, so this is to stop it mm, okay you saw it. Uh, so we moved over one minute so this really didn't move on the hour you can't see it because the hand's in the way anyway so reset when it stopped you reset everything goes back to zero nice anyway about the dial well it's got the nice pattern here in the middle and then the pattern around the perimeter but they got a tiny nine over here and yet over here they put a bar for the three I don't know why they didn't put a number three there you could have put a small three a big three or why don't they just put a little bar over there I don't know why they did that I thought that was odd you got tiny six maybe six and they had to decide who the hell knows anyway so now we're gonna do the uh, changing of the uh, of the day date and time how that works with this watch uh, there's the crown crown is three positions so one position is uh, the way it is running and two other positions for setting the stuff so we'll put it in position two and what does that change for us I forget already uh, when you move it uh, this way you change the date as you can see it goes around blah 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 and to change the month you have to cycle it all the way through so there you go that's how you change the month and the date there as one now when you turn it the other way what happens when you turn it the other way oh the moon I don't know if you see but the moon changes let's say you change the uh, the moon face so this way does the date and the month this way does the moon and of course to change the time you pull it all the way out it has the hack feature on the second hand that's another thing that bothers me a little bit about this watch the second hand I mean, there's no 60 seconds here you know what I'm saying I mean you can use these uh, markers here for the hours because each one of them represents in a sense five seconds but still on later models they actually put the seconds around here I don't know what can you do uh, so anyway I pulled out three positions uh, hack second and now I can change the time what am I oh it's, I'm still AM good okay I can change the time let's do what they do on the uh, on the ads the ads they always do 10 and 2 so you can see everything almost there oh I dropped my pointer yeah you know so you can see most things so that's how you change the time and then you push it all the way back in and it starts ticking again now to change the day uh, that's what this is over here for the day I use my toothpick and you see the previous owners they use something I don't know maybe their car keys or something because they scratched it up and then this got scratched up too. I don't know why. Maybe trying to open it up. Yeah, you figure you drop several grand for a watch. <laughs> you treat it a little bit better. But, you know, that's just me. Uh, so to change the day, you use the, uh, I use the toothpick. Let's make this. And you push it in and the day changes. That's how you do the day. Yay! Easy. Uh, what else I was gonna say? Oh yeah, used watch. Yeah, it's got a ch uh, dent here and a minor scratch there you can barely see, and, uh, and then it's got the the roughness over here and uh, that, and then there's a little minor dents here and there that uh, 
eh, not too bad. I mean, I've seen other used watches that they're, they're back crystals all scratched up and then the crystal at the front is all beat to crap and it's like hmm they they wore it anyway that's just my opinion uh, I think that's it I think I said what I had to say and I showed a lot of stuff I think uh, we'll get a close up of the face we got some shadow there because oh to me it looks like this was opened up before because I think the hour marker doesn't go exactly to zero. Is it a little off? It's just a little bit off, I think. I can't tell because I'm not using the right magnification. I don't know. Who knows? I'm not going to open this thing up. Uh, oh, yeah. The hands glow in the dark. The minute hand and the hour hand glow. And then you have the hour markers here with the little dots. These dots glow. And that's it. Oh, and the uh, this is a GMT or the 24 hour one. This one glows too. You can see something there. So that's what glows on it. Oh wait. I don't know. Maybe people want to see this too. Uh, which one is the one? This is the one. Oh, we're going to kill another minute by uh, we're going to watch the chronograph stuff move when I press the button. Maybe some people get off on that stuff. <laughs> Sorry. Some people enjoy watching that, so I'm going to... You can watch the cam. This is the cam they use. There's a certain name for this, but I don't remember it. It's French, I think. And the other method is the, uh, the crown wheel, I think they call it, which is more expensive. That's why these people win. They should read the history on the 7750. It's fairly interesting. Competition with the courts in the uh, late 60s, early 70s. So, so yeah, uh, we're going to wait till the... Uh, is it moving? Yeah, so we're going to wait till the... Uh, this is the minute counter. When that minute counter goes... Where's the stop it? Okay, when that minute counter goes... Moves. Then I'm going to stop it and then we'll reset it. Let's put this in the center. Uh, let's see, I'm waiting for it to move. What else can I say? I don't know. 25 joules, blah, blah, blah. Does it move? Oh, there it goes. Okay, now I can stop it. And then we'll hit the reset button so you can watch the cams move again. Yeah, see this cam over here. Uh, there's there's a cam. I don't know if you can see the shape, but there's a thing over here. I don't know what you call it—a hammer or something that's gonna whack this and get it back to zero. There's also one for the second ones, but you can't see that. So now I'm going to uh, hit the key, press the button, and we'll reset it. Bam! That's quick, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So there you go. You saw this stuff move. Anyway. So this is your Zeno calendar watch. See, it, it covered it again. How long is this video? Jeez. Yeah, this is your Zeno calendar watch. Uh, whatever. I'm going to end this soon. So, Should I do a zoom in on the back? Yeah, there you go. You can see the back. Read all the stuff. And, oh yeah, the crown has no markings on it. I, I don't know. That's where they made it. I don't know. And it's a pretty hefty watch, as I caught. Uh, let's see if I can get the other one in the view. I'll compare the size. I think this one in my hand is... What is this one in my hand? The one that I currently wear is... Which is pretty beat to crap, too. You buy you stuff, beat the crap. It's already got the bead into it already, so I don't have to beat it anymore. What's this one? Like 38, I think. This is five millimeters difference. You can see the difference. Let me put this on my wrist before I do something to it. Knock it off the table or some crap like that. Typical crap. Uh, okay, anyway, so that's it. This video has gone on long enough. Uh, this is your Zeno. I think the people would like it better if they could see the name. Uh, this is your uh, Zeno watch, whatever, calendar watch, 43 millimeters, uh, ETA 7751 movement, 
nice watch. Uh, couldn't afford a new one because I wouldn't be able to eat for, you know, a long time to pay for it. Anyway, uh, thank you for your cooperation. I hope you enjoyed the program and enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to wait till it goes to 15. 14. There you go.